Hello everyone, Kevin here in the Paleo Prep Lab. Today I'm gonna to share a little bit with you about our marine gastropod fossils, snails. So the first one I'm going to show you is commonly encountered here where Calvert Cliffs are. And that is because there are millions of these snails in several of the fossil formations. They are a sand burrowing snail called a turret snail or turritella. Some people affectionately call them unicorn horns. You can see why. This shell has a very long spire and these very, very delicate whorls. That's the technical name for all of the turns in a snail's shell. That's W-H-O-R-L-S. And it's relatively smooth and it tapers to a super fine point. When this animal was alive, it would have been burrowed in the sand this way with the sharp point facing down into the sand. The opening here would have a small foot, single foot, as most other snails have, and it, unlike most snails, would be filtering the water for plankton. Quite unusual. Another variety that we find here is much larger. These are typically found in Charles County, another turret snail. And you can see compared to this one, so we have smooth edges on this one. This one's a little chunkier. It's got these angular projections on the spirals. And if you were on the beaches that have this, the matrix or the material that is entombing the fossils is a lot harder than what we have over here. So sometimes it has infilled the spiral and then the shell is much weaker than the soil. So it breaks away and we end up with an internal mold. So we still have all of those really, really intricate turns in the spiral preserved here in an internal mold. And then we might even find a big chunk of the matrix with there's one turret snail and another one there and another one there. So there's quite a bit preserved here in this piece. One thing you might notice about your turret snails are feeding holes. So we've got this perfect round hole here as this animal was burrowed into the sand millions of years ago, something like our state fossil, the Ekphora, a predatory sea snail, might have encountered it, drilled the hole into the turritella, and then eaten its soft insides, leaving the shell behind for us to find years later. Another type of predatory snail we find, which is the same shape as the turritella is the auger snail. It just doesn't have the defined spirals, the defined whorls that we have. This is like a modern cone snail. You may have heard stories about snails that you can pick up from the beach that have a venomous barb that can come out. This is that type of snail. Um, so we find these as well. A final thing I wanna share is how to tell the difference between a fossil shell and a modern one. So this is a modern turret snail next to the fossil one. You can see right away there's a difference in color and texture. The outer layer of the fossil turret tails snail shell is worn away completely. It's called the periostracum. It's like a skin on the outside layer of a shell. It's got all those beautiful colors and texture. We still have the periostracum here. It's not a fossil. So that's what you look for. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.